shocks me when I see the chair of Council of Governors, <laughs> Governor Oparanya, who has been the governor for Kakamega for the last two terms. Madam Speaker, the county, of, uh, the county government of, of uh, Kakamega received a disclaimer of opinion for 2015-16, 2016-17, and then last year, on 2017-2018, they received a qualified opinion. A disclaimer of opinion, Madam Speaker, is the definition of it is that the county government misrepresented facts in as far as their financial position is concerned. Madam Speaker, it shocks me. Because when you see these governors talking, every financial year, they project that they will raise about 1.6 billion in terms of uh, Kakamega for the year 2016-2017 on onsource revenue, but only raised 500 million. Madam Speaker, today I hear that the Council of Governors has given orders to the other 46 governors to shut down counties. You know, this Council of Governors, Madam Speaker, is a club of boys and some ladies. I mean, it has got no consequences. These Council of Governors have been giving orders. They have told governors not to appear before the Committee of Public Accounts and Investment Committee. But most governors realize that Article 2265 will catch up with them. So they take their own personal responsibility and appear. And I want to say congratulations to those who are doing so. Because it shows that they want to be leaders. I don't know what happens when you make somebody a prefect, they even now forget that they were once a student. <laughs> Madam Speaker, it shocks me. This house is here to defend the interests of counties and their government. We are here to make sure that more money goes to the county governments. Earlier on, we were talking about issues of boundaries. Why can this council of governors sit if they care so much about the people and first of all decide, let us resolve these boundaries issue? Number two, why can they sit down together in this, their club and say, from today henceforth, each county will conclude its special plan, we will be able to increase on our actual on source revenue so that we can be able to move forward. But instead, Madam Speaker, they are always finding fault in the house which is defending their interest. Shame on them. It is about time that this house stand firm and defend devolution. Because if we have such characters, they will never defend devolution. In fact, they'll be thinking about becoming president if they cannot even run their own counties. What about this country? Thank you, Senator. Thank you. It is done. Senator.